Assalamu alaikum my lovely students. I am Ms. Maru from SM Public Academy Campus 5. I hope you all are fine and safe at home. So let's start our today's lecture. We are going to start our new lesson. Pirello the Dancing Horse. We'll read page number 5 till page number 10 today. Okay? So, what do you see in this picture? There is a horse. And the name of this horse is Pirello. Pirello is a dancing horse. This is a tent. This is a circus tent. And there is a man also. His name is Carlo. And Carlo is Pirello's master. Okay. Carlo is the master of this horse. So this is the story about a dancing horse. Alright. I hope your books are opened in front of you and you have your pencils in your hand. Okay, so you can underline the difficult words with me. Now let's start the reading. Page number 5 Pirello the Dancing Horse Bright lights, cheerful music the soft sawdust of the circus ring. That was the life Pirello loved. That was the only life for him. He had been a circus horse for as long as he could remember. He had been taught and looked after and loved by Carlo, his master. He would do anything in the world for Carlo. So what do we understand by reading this paragraph? What did Pirello love? Pirello loved bright lights, cheerful music and the soft sawdust of the circus ring. Okay? So, he used to love the circus life. Cheerful means happy. And what does sawdust mean? Sawdust means a powder that comes during wood cutting. And who was his master? Who was Pirello's master? Carlo. Carlo was his master. Okay. He taught and looked after and loved Pirello. Okay. Taught. Taught is the past form of teach. Looked after means take care. Okay. Now underline the difficult words of this page. Cheerful. Cheerful means happy. Sawdust. Taught. Now let's turn the page. Page number 6. So tonight was just like other nights with Carlo giving orders in a gentle voice and Pirello dancing for him. Pirello danced on four legs. One, two, three, hop. One, two, three, hop. Pirello danced on two legs. With his front legs in the air. One, two, three, hop. 
One, two, three, hop. Parallel bowed and Carlo bowed. And the people clapped and cheered. So, as usual, Pirello, the dancing horse, was dancing for his master. Okay? He was following his master's order. He was dancing and dancing. So, he danced firstly. He danced on his four legs. Then, he started dancing on two legs. Alright? And people were enjoying the show. They started clapping to show their happiness. And at the end of the show, when the dance was over, what did Carlo and Pirello do? They bowed towards their audience. What does bow mean? Bow means to bend down the body. Okay? So, it was just like any other night. Bright lights, cheerful music, the soft sawdust of the circus ring. Yet, Pirello the dancing horse knew that it wasn't like other nights. Something was different. Something was wrong. And as soon as his act was over, Carlo told him what it was. So, it was just like other nights. Carlo was giving orders to Pirello and Pirello was dancing for him. People were cheering up. So, but what happened? Why the horse was not feeling good? He was sensing that there is something wrong. But everything was just like the routine for him. There were music, there were bright lights and the soft sodas. But there was something wrong. And what was that? Who told Pirello? His master. Let's see what was wrong there. We've had the last dance. We've is the short form or contraction of we have. Okay. We've had the last dance. Pirello. We've had the last dance. Pirello was puzzled. What did his master mean? We have to say goodbye, added Carlo sadly. It's a small circus. It has never made much money. Mr. Gary is giving it up. Tomorrow he is selling everything. The tents, the caravans, the animals, even you. So what was wrong there? It was their last dance and Carlo told Parello that we have to say goodbye. Why? Because they were working in a circus and that circus was very small. It was not making much money. So the owner of the circus, Mr. Gary, was going to sell it. Okay, that's why he was selling each and everything of the circus. Okay. Pirello gave a soft little cry. He understood. If you really belong to me, I would take you away. If I had money to pay for you, we'd never be parted. But I'm poor. I must find another circus and you must go to the market to be sold. How sad. They were going to be separated. And as I told you, the master and the dancing horse both loved each other. Okay? 
So what happened? His master said to him that if you had belonged to me, I would take you away. Or if I had money to pay for you, I would have bought you. But the master was also a poor person. So he could not buy that horse. Okay. So he said that I must go to another circus and you must go to the market to be sold to someone. Okay. Let's underline the difficult words of these two pages. Page number 6 and 7. Bowed. I told you the meaning of bowed. Bow means to bend down. Okay. Cheerful. Cheerful means happy. Puzzled. Puzzled means confused. Parted. Parted means separated. I hope you have underlined these words with me. Now let's turn the page. Page number 8 Carlo said no more. He only stood gazing at Pirello, his horse, his partner. His only friend. So after telling his partner, after telling his horse that we are going to be separated and it was our last dance, Carlo stood silent. Okay? Means his master was standing quietly. He was just gazing. He was just Staring. Gazing means staring. Okay. He was just staring at Pirello because Pirello was his horse, his partner, his friend. So he was very sad. Then he closed the door of the sleeping box and ran away into the night. And Pirello, the dancing horse, understood. Next day, he was sent to the winter market to be sold. He stood silently as one man after another came to look at him. He didn't care who bought him. He wanted Carlo and circus life. His heart was filled with Sadness. So what happened when he left, when, he, when the Carlo, okay, when his master, when Carlo left the horse in the sleeping box, Pirello understood that they are going to be separated, all right? Then what happened? Pirello, the dancing horse, was taken to the winter market. To be sold, okay? And there in the market, he was standing very quietly, very silently. And one after another, men were coming to buy him, okay? But he was very sad. Pirello was very sad. He was missing Carlo and circus life, okay? He just wanted Carlo and circus life. Okay. Page number 9. He was sold at last to a farmer. Your fine strong horse, said the farmer. 
you'll be able to pull the plow for me. So he took Pirello to a green field beside an old white farmhouse, and there he left him for some time. Who bought Pirello in the winter market? Farmer, okay? He was sold to a farmer and farmer liked that horse. He found Pirello a fine, strong horse. So he was thinking that this horse is a strong horse, so he will be able to pull the plow for him. What is plow? Plow is a tool used in farming. It is it has so many blades to dig the soil, okay? So plow is a farming tool, okay? What happened then? Then he took Pirello to the green field and he left him there for some time. Now let's underline the difficult words of these two pages. Gazing. Gazing means staring, to look at something or someone for a long time. Silently. Silently means quietly. Plow. That's it. Marked in here, okay? We have done the reading. Now let's see the difficult words again of these pages. Here is the list of the difficult words. Let's read these words one by one. Cheerful Sawdust Taught Bowed, puzzled, parted, gazing, silently. And the last one is plow. Now let's discuss the key points. What was the name of the dancing horse? Do you remember the name of the horse? Pirello, very nice. Who was Pirello's master? Do you know the name of Pirello's master? Carlo. Carlo was Pirello's master. Who was the owner of the small circus? Do you remember? What was the name of the owner who was going to sell his small circus? Mr. Gary. Mr. Gary was the owner of the small circus. Who bought the horse in the winter market? Farmer. Farmer bought the horse in the winter market. Okay. What did Pirello want? Pirello was so sad when he was separated, right? So what did he want? He wanted Carlo and circus life, okay? Who was Carlo? His master. We are done now. Thank you for watching this video, my dear students.
in the next lesson we will do comprehension 2 to lose our loose tooth okay till then take care allah hafiz